NZ Pilsner, New Zealand Pilsner. This is 5.6%. 34, I thought that was going to say 341 IBU. 34 IBUs. Uh, Malt Pilsner, Melanoidin, Carapils. And the hops are Waimea, Wakatu, Machuica. And the yeast, oh god, is Budjevice Lager. Czech Lager yeast, I'm guessing that is. So yeah, you seen a Pilsner? This is very much something that is on my to-do list. I know we've all got like loads, you know, massive to-do lists, like, but this is one that's has escaped me. I'm not sure if this is bottled off the keg. I think it might be. That's not. There's only a wee bit left on it. That's not big, really. So there you are. Um, the glass is a little bit too big. I do have a Pilsner glass, but it's like, um, it's like best out in the world or something it says on the front of it, so, I want that, no, come on, I'm above that, surely, only if there was no other glasses clean, oh, smells great, smells good, it smells kind of sweet, florally, tropical kind of smell of it. Mainly just a really sweet smell of it. Well, that reminds me of something. It's gonna annoy me if I don't think what it is. But it's kind of, um, it's just intensely sweet. Oh, that reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going in. Cheers, Richard. Did I say that who this is from? I don't think I did. This is from Dude's Brews. This is from Richard. This is, uh, I've won this competition. So, um, yeah, he very kindly sent me some beers. And he's brewing the, um, the Belgian IPA, so. Yeah, that's gonna be good, I think. So, uh, cheers, Richard. The taste kind of follows on from the aroma. It's got that real kind of sweet me and Wakatu. Well, I know I've definitely had Wakatu before because I remember the name Wakatu. Much week I've definitely had before. So me It's gonna annoy me what that what that is. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Really well carbonated. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of it's got it's got that kind of pilsner bitter finish to it, but it's obviously not bitter because it's a pilsner. But you know what I mean. Um, you know when you were like years and years ago, and you used to drink uh, like your bog standard crappy lager, and then you had to drink a pilsner, and it was like bloody hell, that's um. That's different. That's kind of what that is. Very really nice light body on it as well too. Really clean. And then there's that taste. It's kind of like sweet kind of sweet fruity kind of taste I don't know there is as I said before there is something in there that seems very familiar but I can't quite put my finger on exactly what it is it's really easy to drink my god Really nice and refreshing. It's kind of like a beer that um, you don't even realise you're drinking it quite so fast. You know, it's one of those ones. A bit, it's like a, it's like a lager, I suppose it is a lager, but a nice one. I don't get pinpoint that uh, that taste. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's going down nicely. I think that's still on the, the to-do list. Really, really nice. Um, it's hard to beat beers like that, really. I mean, I know lager gets a, a bit of a bad knock. No, this is a pilsner. It gets a bit of a bad knock, like, but that's only because there's no taste to it, there's no flavour to it. But still, though, you could go out and drink lager all night. Um, I couldn't go out and drink friggin' IPAs all night. Absolutely not. Be on the floor. So yeah, pretty nice, really refreshing, crisp and clean, all that stuff. Really kind of sweet, sweet taste, sweet flavor, and it's 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 dark. It gets a bit of a better finish to it. Is the best way I can describe it. So that's very good. Five point six percent, and it's that drinkable. That is quite dangerous. Maybe get that down to 4.7, 4.8. More be talking. You just drink that all the time. If that was on a keg, then that would be quite dangerous because you could knock a lot of them over. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's good. That was really good. Crystal clear as well. Too. Cheers, Richard. This is very much appreciated. Another excellent beer by yourself, so. Super stuff, great. Thanks. London Rye Brown Porter. Very nice. This is from Dude's Brews. I'm liking your font. Very nice and clean. So, yeah, Brown Porter. Pearl Malt, Brown Malt, Cara Rye, Cara 75. Chocolate, chocolate rye. Richard Portal did a little bit of chocolate rye. I know that. And the hops are North Down and Fuggles, and the East is WLP002. Oh, it smells lovely and chocolatey. Not a huge amount of carb on this. It, it looks like there is sediment on the bottom. Okay. There it is in the porter glass. Um yeah, it's nice. It's uh I'm trying to work out if it's brown or black. It is dark. There's absolutely nothing getting through there. I think it is kind of brown. It's a dark brown, let's call it a dark brown. Yeah, let's do that. Not much of a cap on it. Might get the wand out a bit later on. Smell is a nice bit of chocolate. Something else in there as well too. It doesn't immediately strike me as rye. Even though there's obviously rye in it. But no, it's something else. It's kind of... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. It smells a bit like vanilla or something like that. Maybe it's... I don't really know. It's a combination of stuff. Anyway, I'm going in. Cheers. Really nice mouthbeat on it. Quite full. This is 5.3%. 33 IBUs. Really malty, as you would expect. Is that lovely bit of um? Oh, we can taste. I'm getting the rye now. It's a very subtle, but it works quite well. I'm getting that kind of dry mouth now. But it's not a rye bomb by any means. It's more about the kind of chocolate. This actually reminds me of um. one of Yorkshire Tony's um, beers. He sent me St. Austell 1857, something like that. 
and it's really really delicious taste in it. That's the same sort of thing. It's not exactly the same, but it does have a lovely kind of taste in there. It's like chocolate caramel or something like that. You know, like you would get, um, you know, like a, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a chocolate bar with, uh, with that kind of taste. You know what, this is going to sound insane, but back years and years and years ago, my dad used to make ginger wine, and he used to make alcoholic and non-alcoholic versions, and just for a fraction of a second, I got like a taste that reminded me of that ginger wine in there. I'm not sure what it's from, or how that's even possible, but... There you are. That's really nice. That's really nice to sip on. Very nice indeed. You could polish a couple of those off easily in a night. I'm getting that kind of taste again. It tastes like ginger, but there is something in there that's making me think about it. That's making me think of ginger for some reason. Really, really nice, Richard. Um, North Down and Fuggles. I've never brewed with North Down. I definitely have brewed with Fuggles. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone that sent me beers with North Down in, possibly. I don't really know, can't remember. That was really nice. You know what? I'm going to get the wand. Here we go. The Ultra Bear. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Wow. That is good. For dark bears. There is no Danan. It almost changes the character of the beer when you use it. Because you're suddenly drinking this kind of real kind of foamy top. really nice Richard that was bloody good I'm really enjoying that I hope um, the Belgian IPA is as nice as that who knows anyway I'm going so I'll just say cheers see you there